Right, here we go. The first subject is... Things you wouldn't hear from a weather forecaster. The Met Office have issued a weather warning. They've told the weather not to do that again or there'll be trouble. <laughs> Temperatures could rise to 31 degrees. Shit, I've left my baby in the car! <laughs> <laughs> a hurricane tonight will be caused by low pressure and God's hatred of homosexuality. <laughs> a huge depression over Scotland and now the weather. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, a warning to hay fever sufferers. Don't come sneezing near me or I'll rip your face off. <laughs> <laughs> so, here's the summary. Monday shite, Tuesday shite, Wednesday shite, Thursday bollocks. <laughs> the humidity's rising. The barometer's going low. <laughs> Tonight, for the first time, just about half past ten, <laughs> it's going to start raining men. <laughs> The outlook's bright for the weekend. I've got three grams of coke in my pocket and my wife's on holiday. <laughs> well, let's go to Carol on the roof of Television Centre. She's not meant to be there. She's just a bit depressed. <laughs> <laughs> this part of the country is going to stay hot and wet for quite some time because that's where my girlfriend lives. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So, it's going to be between 17 and 21, but Berlusconi won't date older than that. <laughs> it was raining cats and dogs last night. I should know. I was throwing them off my roof. <laughs> what are you watching me for? Look out the fucking window. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be cloudier tonight. I love those German birds. <laughs> What do you care what the weather's going to be like? You look shit in all your clothes. <laughs> the next topic is... Deleted lines from Star Trek. Kirk to Enterprise. OK, how about if I stand over here? <laughs> Scotty, that's the most convincing your accent has ever been. <laughs> Captain, I can see an alien ship approaching. It's not showing up on the radar. It's a circular vessel, some sort of lettering and number... Oh, no, sorry, it's my, it's my tax disc. <laughs> I have no emotion. My mother was a Vulcan. My father was Gordon Brown. <laughs> <laughs> All right, which one of you ate my Scotch egg? <laughs> This is the Federation of Gay Planets. Open your docking bay and prepare to be boarded. <laughs> Tell you what, Spock, your towel is a lot softer than mine. <laughs> <laughs> Captain's log. Just seen some aliens. OMG, WTF, LOL, smiley face. <laughs> Who are these terrifying aliens? You can't call them that anymore, Captain. <laughs> it's Uhuru and Sulu. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the SS Enterprise, Mr Eccleston. <laughs> now, which one of you put your red top in the washing with all the yellow ones? <laughs> uh, there's going to be some changes around here. They call me Captain Tatty Bojangles. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, Captain Picard? What's wrong? I'm a serious Shakespearean actor, <laughs> and I'm talking to the ambassador of the fucking worm people! <laughs> Unlikely things to hear on a survival show. I was first taught to eat in the bush by a French girl I went out with at university. <laughs> <laughs> to get the fish, break the ice, Jump the checkout and run! <laughs> Not only is this lake good for fish, but we can also put a body in it. 
Using excrement, mud and twigs, they've made primitive bedding here at the Premier Travel Lodge. <laughs> I'm in the Congo. Let's sell this once and for all. Do you boys like Umbungo? <laughs> <laughs> Here I am in the jungle. The mighty jungle. <laughs> I win my way, I win my way, I win... <laughs> but who are the truly civilised? Is it the Mbupi tribe or is it us with our books, our medicine and our internet? Oh, yes, it's us. <laughs> <laughs> of course, food is a scarce and valuable resource to these tribes people. So I've just bagged myself two nights with this fella's wife for a Twix. <laughs> you know, Ant and Deck think that their jungle's pretty tough. Well, they joined me today, there was no food, so I ate them. <laughs> the villagers get up early and walk five miles to fetch clean water every day, which begs the question, why not move the village closer? <laughs> The strong, powerful sun is making me sweat. Oh, shit, here comes his dad. <laughs> I've been living in these woods for three weeks now, but that's what happens if you're married to the Home Secretary and she catches you watching porn. <laughs> I'm Bear Grylls, and this is my brother, Wolf Stir Fry. <laughs> I've just achieved my life's ambition of climbing Everest with no food and no equipment. Now do you love me, Daddy? <laughs> <laughs> now do you love me? <laughs> OK, the next topic is... <laughs> unlikely things to read on a packet. Ragu sauce. If you give this to someone who is actually from Italy, they punch you in the face. <laughs> To open, push down tab, break tab, swear repeatedly, STAB WITH A PAIR OF SCISSORS! <laughs> <laughs> Serves four, you greedy bastard. Now put some of that back. <laughs> Viagra are proud sponsors of Andy Murray for people who can only ever achieve a semi. Bag may also be used for autoerotic asphyxiation. <laughs> Fair trade coffee. If you don't like it, you're racist. <laughs> Sunny Delight counts towards your five a day as minus two. <laughs> to stop diarrhea, take one teaspoon and shove it up your arse. <laughs> Adults and children over 12 years. Try not to get those two mixed up. <laughs> Cup of soup. Just add soup. <laughs> Best before date, Rehypnol. <laughs> Serving suggestion. On a plate, you thick moron. <laughs> We use only the very cheapest horse meat to make, fuck it, it's just a cat. <laughs> Deleted lines from a fantasy film. I am Aragorn, son of Arathorn, the heir to a Sildor and part of the Fellowship of the Ring. Please leave a message after the tone. <laughs> Ron had been suffering from swine flu and people were avoiding him. Luckily, he was ginger and he was used to it. <laughs> I don't know why you're so upset, Harry. The original Dumbledore died three films ago and no-one gave a shit. <laughs> Did you find Narnia in the wardrobe? No, Edmund. We found your porn stash. <laughs> My friends, we will never hear the word Mordor again. Taggart has been cancelled. <laughs> no, Harry, it's not a five-headed dog. It's girls allowed! <laughs> Me. <laughs> I am Aslan, formed by the merger of Asda and Matalan. <laughs> we 
had only been there for a day, but to us it felt like 15 years. That's Birmingham. <laughs> Did you honestly think I could be defeated by someone younger? I am Arlene Phillips. <laughs> Welcome to Mordor, twinned with Swansea. <laughs> <laughs> this will never work, Frodo. <laughs> In the wardrobe, we found a magical compartment that led to the Fritzel family. No, it's in my pocket. <laughs> you right, John? How's it going, all right? Yeah, how's the kids? All right? See you later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a dwarf, I'm a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> Your next topic is... Things you don't want to hear from your flatmates. That's my milk in the fridge. I squeeze it out of my tits with a vice. <laughs> no, we can't share the electricity bill. I've got a phone charger and a laptop, and you're on a life support machine. <laughs> 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 hmm. My last flat was just like friends. Have you seen the one where Joey kills everybody? <laughs> I love talking to you. With you, I can... ..be my real self. <laughs> There's just two of us. Well, three if you count God. <laughs> I'd give it ten minutes in the toilet if I were you. That one could talk. <laughs> Well, if you don't think I'm a nosy bastard, why did you write that in your diary? <laughs> oh, that! That's just a novelty shower gel in the shape of a webcam. <laughs> hey, you said there wasn't enough room to swing a cat. Look at this. <laughs> Loads of room! <laughs> oh, uh, a Mr G had called? <laughs> he says it's time. <laughs> I don't see why I should pay for half the loo roll when I never use any. <laughs> I tell you what, that Hoover is powerful. <laughs> <laughs> OK, there's, there's one certain way to find out who ate my <clears throat> yoghurt, an AIDS test. <laughs> Unlikely things to hear on a consumer programme. I'm Adrian Childs, <laughs> and I was shocked by the new Shrek film. <laughs> I've not been paid for it, <laughs> but I seem to be starring in it. <laughs> consumer scams are on the increase. If you'd like to find out how to stop them, send us your name and address, your date of birth, and your mother's maiden name. <laughs> I've just found out my jumper was made by Indian slave children. Can I just say they did a wonderful job? <laughs> Next, we speak to Barbara, who was devastated when she bought Daniel Beddingfield tickets that turned out to be genuine. <laughs> At first, the company seemed willing to compromise. Then we sent them a letter from Nicky Campbell and they told us to fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be on this show next week because I'm going off to Nigeria to pick up my lottery winnings. <laughs> <laughs> Last week we said that we were going to expose London's security scene. This week we say, there's been a misunderstanding. Could I please have my kids back? <laughs> <laughs> on closer inspection, Mrs Wilkins, your hamster's jacuzzi would appear to be a food blender. <laughs> Hey, I'm Nicky Campbell, and I've been ploughing through the usual five sacks of hate mail <laughs> to find this letter complaining about washing powder. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Today, as I stand before you penniless in the last clothes I own, we ask, is divorce biased in favour of the greedy bitch who left me? <laughs> <laughs> we got there, the weather were crap, the food were crap, the locals were racist. What a bloody brilliant holiday! <laughs> Of the half-dozen condoms we tested, all but two burst in my stomach. <laughs> I'm Anne Robinson, <laughs> and without plastic surgery, I'd look like E.T.'s balls. <laughs> <laughs> OK, the next topic is... Things a sports commentator would never say. I'll have called in the video referee. Which is better, alien or predator? <laughs> Oh, yes, and that's a beautiful uppercut and another one. But, hey, the DJ is still not going <laughs> to change the track <laughs> for Stephen Gerrard. <laughs> Jimmy White holding up the cue there as he collapses at the telenoid bins. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Robot Wars. Cruncher, ready! Stephen Hawkins, ready. <laughs> <laughs> And England have won the Ashes. <laughs> <laughs> it's the women's 100 metres final, and from left to right, it's no, no, yes, yeah. maybe. From behind. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> the Queen smashes Camilla in the face, and Prince Philip hits her with a hammer. This is what I call a royal rumble. <laughs> <laughs> Venus Williams has brought something different to the ladies' game. Male genitalia. <laughs> oh, he's great with a dead ball. When I had one, I had to sit down for a week. <laughs> and I uh, think that massive widescreen close-up of the wedgie goes some way to explaining why we don't normally televise judo. <laughs> Bloody smear is the reason you don't see a lot of streakers in Formula One. <laughs> Some people on the pitch, they think it's all over. It is now. The Chinese secret police have shot them. <laughs> well, he's finally got his head down. His hands are firmly round the shaft. Which is why I'm handing over to John Inverdale. <laughs> Overpaid, overpaid, knocks it on to overrated. Overrated <laughs> on to possible rapist, possible <laughs> rapist, knocks it forward, closet gay, goal! <laughs> Unlikely lines from a thriller. Michael, Peter, David, Vladimir, I think we may have a spy in the organisation. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the Pentagon, then the triangle, and then the square. <laughs> Pussy galore, Bond here. I've been told by my doctor that I need to contact all previous partners. <laughs> <laughs> the owner of this motel dresses up as his mother and stabs people. But the guidebook says it's still better than the Ibis. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to go to Warsaw, meet a man called Borislav. You'll then ask him why he didn't fix my plumbing before he left for home. <laughs> Miss Scarlet looked at him through the window. He had one massive testicle like a space hopper. <laughs> that was why they called him Professor Plum. <laughs> this is no ordinary pen bond. Turn it upside down, the woman's <laughs> clothes drop off and you can see it. <laughs> red or green, red or green, which do I cut? Come on, they're only peppers. How long is this salad going to take? <laughs> We need to find the third man. There's no way Amanda Holden will shag just two of us. <laughs> Here's... Simon. <laughs> the Orient Express has been cancelled. However, there was a murder on the temporary Orient replacement <laughs> bus. <laughs> I have amnesia. The tattoos on my body will tell me what happened. Dara was here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yeah. 
I'd been a serial killer for four years, but they'd never given me a nickname. Then, you bite one guy in the ass, <laughs> and suddenly you're the butt muncher. Ah, <laughs> oh, the butt muncher's got me! The butt muncher's got me! OK, the next topic is... Bad things to say at a wedding. <laughs> I do. <laughs> 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 Don't worry, the vows are simple. Just repeat after me. Eeny, meeny, macaraca, rare ride, dominaca, chicka, bocca, lollipop, rom, pom, push. <laughs> and we will now sing hymn number 225. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. <laughs> when John went down on one knee, I wish I'd known that he was having a stroke. <laughs> I'd, uh, I'd like to thank Elsie for the flowers. It was her funeral I nicked them from. <laughs> so, your best man's in an absolute state. That's my mum. <laughs> now, it's my job to tell some amusing stories about <laughs> Gavin. So, first of all, for a kickoff, he's a hermaphrodite. <laughs> my bride always wears white. Isn't that right, Dolly? Bear! <laughs> hey, Carol's family have always had their doubts about me. So, first of all, let me explain why I'm naked. <laughs> <laughs> this is my first gay wedding, so you must be the pretty one. <laughs> to my new son-in-law, I would say this. You have released me this monster is yours now. <laughs> I would like to apologise for the state of my clothes and the smell of sick only I spent last night in a skip. <laughs> anyway, dearly beloved, we are gathered here today. People have said to me, why have you stopped being a bachelor after so long? And I say, well, look at her. <laughs> she's wealthy and she's dying. <laughs> it wouldn't be a traditional Norfolk wedding without a speech from the father of the bride and groom. 